Hey there, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches, and welcome to these first impressions video on the Zin 356 Classic Anniversary Limited Edition to 500 pieces. This is a celebration of the 25th anniversary of the 356, a very popular Flieger style chronograph produced by Zin. And let's take a look at some of the specs real quick before I give you my initial thoughts. We have a 35, 38 and a half millimeter case diameter, a case thickness of around 15 millimeters, uh, close to about 46, maybe 47 um, millimeter lug to lug, a 20 millimeter lug width. It comes with this new book leather strap the sand color strap and is also comes with a, a black one and you see a nice little uh case a presentation usually um you get a smaller box when you purchase this in but some of these limited edition boxes they they give you a bigger box and they throw in a couple of extra goodies here this is powered by the Salita 510 it's a chronograph movement as you can see here uh, anthracite dial a lighter shade of silver in the sub dials the zin logo is applied and and let me unscrew the the crown here so we can get a better look at that zin applied logo now the numbers are not applied but they do, uh, they, they do have some applied loom on them, so you will get some loom on the numbers as well as the hands. The hands are these syringe-style hands. 100-meter water resistance on the, on, the, on the watch itself, and the, you get a nice, nice pop of the crown when you unscrew it. Uh, very, very... Um, very easy to grab there's a lot of neural going on here and let's fire up that chrono as you can see the top button uh, top pusher engages the chrono uh, top button also will stop the chrono and the bottom one will reset it running seconds hand at the nine o'clock register 30 minute counter on the three o'clock now the big thing for me with this one was how would it be with the thickness of the watch? I am not necessarily worried or wasn't necessarily worried about the um, the way it would feel on wrist. Uh, the dimensions are pretty good, although I thought maybe aesthetically uh, it would look pretty pretty strange with a, with a smaller case diameter. Uh, the 38 and a half with a 15 millimeter case thickness. But I got to tell you, uh, when I've had it on wrist, um, it just, it looked great. Uh, no, no issues there for me personally. The watch only weighs about 75 grams. So it's very, very light. So it's really just an aesthetic thing, whether you uh, can tolerate the thickness or not visually for me anyway. So, and, and, and it seems to, to work just fine. The sapphire crystal here is... A cut from a, a block of sapphire, five millimeter block uh, of it, and it is uh, boxed and slightly curved uh, to give that vintagey look. Although you don't get the distortion that you would normally get from a vintage acrylic crystal, right? Uh, so uh, at the edges here, not that much of a distortion of the numbers. That's okay. Uh, sapphire crystal on the back again, showing the the Salita 510 uh, movement here. It's a really outstanding watch put together by Zen in celebration for the 25th anniversary. Now I'm gonna put this on wrist. I'm gonna have to pause the camera here because the new book, uh, these straps are, are pretty stiff and take a while to break in. So I don't wanna bore you with how long it's gonna take for me to put it on because it is, it will, it will take a, some time here. So let me just put it on wrist so I can show it to you guys. Oh, hey, Bobby Legs here. While I have your attention, please consider 
liking and subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. And please also click that notification button so you get updates when I upload new videos. I love making these videos and I hope you enjoy them. Now, let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. And so here you go on wrist and it just looks great. It's a, it's a really, it's a pleasure to wear. Uh, let's get a shot down the barrel, if you will, so you can see it on my wrist and engage for yourself on the thickness of it. It sits very, very nicely on my wrist, very comfortable. Again, the weight, 75 grams, it, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Uh, so um, it just almost feels like I'm not even wearing anything at, at, at some point. You know, um, so but just a just a really good looking piece. I'm really happy with this one. Now this is a limited piece to 500 pieces. They came out with uh, a couple other variations of it that are not limited. Uh, one of a panda uh, style and another a reverse panda style with a white and a black. Um, those pieces uh, can come in acrylic or sapphire. This one right here, limited to 500. You're looking at. $3,340 American, and you could purchase it in the, here in the States via watch buys. It pretty much seems they're the only uh, new Zinn watch dealer in America. Uh, I think there's a couple ADs in, Cal in, um, in Canada, but you're pretty much stuck with watch buys as your only new, uh, if you want to purchase new. Again, most of these uh, Zins you can purchase in a secondary market. They're usually in great shape because they're tegamented casing and whatnot. This does not have the tegamented application on it. It is a stainless steel, as you can see, satinized or, or bead blasted. Uh, I think it's satinized um, uh, case here. Again, really, really happy with this purchase here. Watch looks great. I'm going to go into a more in-depth review in about a month or two, but I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions. I'm really Really excited about this piece. Uh, I don't mind the size at all. It's not really an issue for me in regards to the thickness. I was worried also about it being a smaller chrono. I usually like my chronos a little bit bigger, at least over you know, 40 millimeters, maybe 42 or 43 is my sweet spot. But this one, again, it's just it just looks so good. It looks, it looks, it's handsome. It's a very good looking piece. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think uh, in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.